One, two, three, four. What is up guys, Mosh here, and as you can tell by the title of the video and your screen, I will be doing some fingerboarding here on Skater XL. So I will be playing on the map that I played in my last video where you're like shrunken down playing in the room and stuff because it just kind of like makes sense. And then I will also be taking this bad boy off of the mega ramp because everything should be taken off the mega ramp at least once. And I'm already falling. That's a good start. The dog is going nuts right now. Hold on. He needs to make an appearance. Oh, we'll get a camera. Oh, the, oh, the, uh, oh, jeez. Someone's tired. Oh, big day. You were sleeping, you maybe ate a little bit, and then you're going to go back to sleep. Poof. Tough one, little buddy. Okay, so another thing I want to bring up real quick before I get into the video is right before I started recording, I heard a sound behind me, like something fell. So I looked around, and there's nothing on the floor. Nothing's tipped over. Like, there's absolutely nothing. And I know what I heard, because I jumped. Like, it actually scared me when I heard it. So if a ghost appears behind me at any point, then just like let me know and uh, we'll get that sorted out. So thank you. All right, we are back here at the desktop skate park. I'll put links to the finger mod or hand mod, whatever. And of course this map in the description. I'm pretty sure it's PC only still. I don't think console has access to mods yet or if console ever will. PS4 case right here. Look at me doing some tricks, actually like doing something cool for once. Maybe all I had to do is be a hand this whole time. Hold on. I almost just fell off. Might actually have something going here. No, we're done. So I don't know if this mod was made for this map or if this map was made for this mod, but they do go hand in hand, which is nice. Wow, look at that. What are these, your handy dandy notebooks? Anyone remember Blue's Clues? No, just me. How do you do a grab trick if uh, you can't grab the board? Hey friend, mind giving me a hand? One eternity later. It's still going. <laughs> Land it. Oh, okay. I was gonna trick out of it, but... That works too. Like I was saying in my last video when I was playing on this map, I enjoy maps like this because they're not super realistic. Like they remind you that this is a video game because so many of the mods are realistic, which is fine. And then when you add a mod like this into a map like this, yeah, it just reminds you that it's a video game. So we need more stuff like this. Please, someone out there. More video gamey stuff. All right, buddy. I challenge you to rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, Scissors. I'm clearly throwing scissors right now. What do you got? What you hiding under that desk, dude? <laughs> flat hand, that's paper. Double flat hand, that's double paper. You lose. I mean, you lost with that hairline, but now you've seriously lost. All right, I'm gonna do some first person very briefly because I just wanna see what it looks like with fingers instead of legs. This does make me like nauseous and feel sick and my eyes hate me for it. If I get super dizzy, I get dizzy for like two days straight and it sucks, so. I'm stuck and I did not land it. But yeah, I did a whole video in first person view, so check that out if you want. I, I, I don't recommend it. It's probably one of my only videos I don't recommend. <laughs> it's something else, especially when I'm doing backflips and front flips. It just gets, yeah, you know, I'm already done. <laughs> I know I'm a hand, but I'm still curious to see if you can nut buster in this. I'm not pressing any buttons. Can we land it? That was cool, that's not what I was going for, but it was cool. I don't know if you can actually nut bust in this, I mean. <laughs> I'm gonna pick my uh, words a little more carefully there, but you know what I'm trying to say. I just went right through them. All right, one more attempt. Yeah, we're not busting any nuts tonight. I want to go under the couch, please. Oh, look at that. Whether you want to look at it or not, you really have no choice, but that is something. All right, so I switch back to my normal character because I just want to see what it looks like without the hand. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> His head's facing the wrong way. Help me! Sometimes something's so bad you just can't look away from it, and this would be one of those moments right here. I mean, just look at the poor thing. 
And then right here, it really just tries to escape, but you know, it just wasn't meant to be. I'm sorry. In my last video, I told a story, so I guess I could tell one in this video as well, because I do have a skateboarding story. I actually have a couple, but I'll save the other story for a different Skater XL video. Wow, I'm just really tearing it up with my skills right now. Sheesh. Thanks. You know, nothing like a good power slide to really just show everyone what you're capable of. And now I'm stuck. No longer stuck. Anyway, so I'm in middle school, right? The last story took place in middle school too. I guess a lot of things happen in middle school. So I go to the skate park with my friend. Rest in peace, by the way. I could tell that story at different times. Well, I've told part of it, but I haven't said like everything, like what led up to it and after his death. So I might go into that in detail later on but anyway so we're at the skate park and one of the sections is like a whoop section and i'm going towards it and i have some pretty decent speed and i hit a pebble i wish it was some cool crash story like i did something awesome and just fell but no i hit a stupid pebble and when that happens your board stays still and you keep moving forward because of forward momentum anyway i hit face first or I guess head first, right into one of the whoops. And it was in slow motion. Like to say when you're about to fall, you go into slow motion. And that's exactly what happened. Now if it was flat ground, I probably could have saved myself. But since there was a whoop and it was like elevated, I just didn't have time to put my hands down. So I just went head first into it and it was in slow motion. And the whole time I was like, this is not gonna be good. So I hit it. I closed my eyes facing one way. When I opened my eyes, I was facing a completely different way. And my friend took me aside and he's like, oh, it's not that bad, like, you'll be okay. I had this huge bump on my head. Like in cartoons, when they get in there and there's this huge bump, that's what happened to me. So I was just like trying to believe him. Like, yeah, maybe it's not that bad. And then someone rode by us and he's like, oh my God, your head. And then I was like, okay, it's not good. <laughs> I should have went to the doctor. I did not go to the doctor and I think I suffered a concussion because I hit pretty hard and I've seen people hit their heads not as hard as that and they got concussions. Like Kevin Love, if you watch basketball, got like elbowed in the head and got a concussion and was out for a few days. It's like, what? Like he barely even got hit. So if you suffer a head injury, you should probably go to the doctor just to make sure everything's good. Because even though you can't see it, it was on the right side of my head. If you feel, there's like a little indent somewhere over here. So maybe I chipped my skull, I don't know. Was I dropped on my head as a kid? No. Did I get obliterated by concrete? Yes. And this has affected me too, because my memory hasn't been the best since then. Like I forget things a lot more easily. I used to have a great memory, almost photographic. Like I could remember just about anything. My grades started going downhill a bit because I was forgetting things. Like my memory's not terrible, but I definitely forget things more than I used to. If I think of something and I don't do it immediately, I'll forget. Like if I'm on YouTube, I'm like, all right, I want to search this thing up. If I don't do it right then and there, I'm just going to forget. So that sucks. Middle school was like the weirdest thing. I remember it, but it doesn't feel like I lived it. If that makes any sense, I really can't explain it any further than that. But yeah, I'll tell the other skateboarding story in my next Skater XL video. So yeah, I've taken a shot to the head. I actually took another shot to the head in middle school as well. So apparently middle school was just the years of headshots. Actually, while we're on the topic of headshots in middle school, I guess I could mention this. Um, we were in math class and we were done with the lesson for the day. So we got to work on our homework for the rest of the period. Now there's a guy that sat a couple desks to the right of me. He put his textbook on his desk and he put his hoodie over top of it. And it was quiet because we're all working on our homework. And you just hear this loud BAM. And everyone looks over. He's holding his head like this <laughs> in pain. And the teacher's like, what, what are you doing? And he says, I thought it would soften the impact. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him, he's probably dead. Alright, let's spawn back in the toilet and see if the secret is still here from last time. Awesome. If we can even get down there... That's weird. I, whoa. 
Get stick bug, lol. I don't know what this is from. Like, I don't understand this. There's something I am missing here. Oh, you know, just over here trying to wash my hand. All right, I'm gonna yeet myself out this window because last time I did it, my character like basically turned into a pretzel. So I want to see what happens when you do it with the hand. So this is what happens as expected. Two fingers break and just snap right through the palm. Wouldn't be a Skater XL video if we weren't sending things off the mega ramp. So here we go. Professional finger border. What can we do? So far, so good. One, two, three, four. Ooh. I'm curious to see if you can do more front flips or back flips with the hand. Maybe like the, uh, I don't know, the hitbox or whatever is different. Back flips. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we did six perfectly. I think the most I've done is five. Have I done six? I don't even remember how many I've done, but you can definitely do six with a hand. Now we got to try for front flips, right? We got to at least go for five because you do less front flips than back flips. So if we can do six back flips and surely we can do five. Front oh my God. We're not going to get the speed for this. Here we go though. Spectacular. One, two, three, four, five. We did it. We actually did it. All right, well, if we can do six front flips, then maybe we can do seven back flips. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I think it's possible. I didn't get a good pop off that. I think you can actually do seven. Let's see exactly what went wrong here. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly could not tell you. So the hand's way over there, making its way way over here. I, I can't even keep track. Jesus, it is flying. I'm trying to slow it down as best I can. I'm doing the great camera work here. Oh! <laughs> no, like. It's like a silly putty or Play-Doh fingers, spaghetti fingers over here. Good God. It's like a flying hand squid, like an alien, I don't know. Definitely some alien fingers right there. It's giving you the peace sign, peace and love all day. And there's its final resting place. Later, bro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven back flips. Pair that with the six front flips. We one upped each of them from last time, pushing the limits, pushing the boundaries further than anyone thought was even possible. Port a potty. All right, let's do something cool to end this. Put a bow on this video and call it a day. Do a little McTwisty thingy here. I apparently landed that. Let's just do it again. Boom. Backside 180, apparently. All right, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you are not already. There will be links to my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord in the description, as well as a playlist to my other Skater XL videos if you would like to check those out. On the screen right now will be two of my most recent videos. Go ahead and give those a watch if you feel like it. And as always, keep your head up and push forward in life. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Later.